What sound do frogs make? Frogs make croaking sounds like ribbit. Did you know that there are thousands of different kinds of frogs in the world? Frogs don't all look alike either. Frogs can be all different sizes and colors. The smallest frog in the world was recently discovered in Papua New Guinea. It is smaller than a dime. The largest frog in the world is the Goliath frog from Africa. It can grow up to three feet long and weigh seven pounds. Frogs live on every continent in the world except Antarctica. Why do you think they don't live in Antarctica? Frogs don't live in Antarctica because it is too cold. Although there is a frog that lives just inside the Arctic Circle. Do you know what a group of frogs is called? A group of frogs is called an army. Okay, now that you know some cool facts about frogs, let's find out about their life cycles. Just like a chicken, a frog's life cycle includes birth, growth, reproduction, and death. The reproduction stage creates new life, so that the cycle repeats over and over again. Have you ever stood at the edge of a pond or stream in the spring and spotted a jelly-like substance floating in the water? If so, you have seen the first stage of a frog's life cycle. The first stage of a frog's life cycle is the egg. That jelly-like substance is frog spawn, which is hundreds of soft jelly-like eggs. In the center of each egg is a tiny black dot. Each black dot is a tiny embryo that will become a tadpole soon. A developing young frog is called an embryo at the early stages and a tadpole at later stages. The mother frog lays her eggs in water in spring, when the cold winter months are over and the water is warm enough for her eggs to survive. The mother frog lays hundreds of eggs at one time. Female frogs lay hundreds of eggs at one time because not all of the eggs survive. Unlike hens, frogs usually do not stay with their eggs, so fish, birds, and water insects are more likely to eat some of the eggs. Some of the eggs will survive and eventually develop into tadpoles. Just as a developing chick is nourished by the yolk of an egg as it grows, a developing frog is also nourished by yolk-like material in the egg. Within a few days or weeks of its development, depending on the type of frog, the embryo develops into a tadpole with a head and tail. Soon after that, when its gills are formed, it is ready to hatch out of the egg. Gills allow the tadpole to breathe underwater. Fish have gills too. People cannot breathe underwater because people do not have gills. Instead, we hold our breath when we go underwater. Once it hatches, a tadpole lives in water. A tadpole has a long, flat tail that it uses to swim. Its gills allow it to get oxygen from the water. Tadpoles swim about in search of food. Although they still feed from the leftovers of the eggs, they also search for small green water plants. Tadpoles grow very quickly, especially in warm water. After some time, the tadpole begins its transformation into a frog. When a living thing undergoes a huge change in shape, this process is called metamorphosis. Tadpoles change quite dramatically from fish-like creatures with gills into four-legged land creatures with lungs. Frogs can breathe air because they have lungs just like people. Lungs are the body parts that we use to breathe air. Let's find out more about this remarkable transformation. After the appearance of the head and the tail, the tadpole grows back legs. Gradually, lungs develop inside its body, and its gills begin to disappear inside its body. Because it has lungs, the tadpole can now breathe air. Next, front legs begin to grow. As a tadpole's legs grow, its tail gets smaller. The tadpole uses its tail and its legs to swim through the water. 
It also begins to use its legs to climb onto plants in the water. Gradually, the tadpole's legs grow longer and its tail disappears completely. At this stage, the tadpole is a young frog that can leave its watery home and use its lungs to breathe. For many types of frogs, all of this has happened in about 12 weeks. At this stage of its development, the young frog is about an inch long. That's roughly the size of your thumb. Very young frogs are often called froglets. Young frogs leave the pond to find other tasty treats to eat on land. They do not go too far away from their watery home, though. On land, they search for small insects, worms, and slugs. They catch their food with their long, sticky tongues. They have to be very careful, though, as lots of animals, such as snakes, lizards, and birds, eat young frogs. Do you know what you call an animal that can live in water and on land? An animal that can live in water and on land is called an amphibian. Frogs are amphibians. Although frogs spend a lot of time on land, they stay fairly close to water. Frogs need to keep their skin damp or somewhat wet. Instead of drinking water, they absorb it through their skin. Frogs breathe through their skin when they are in water, but they breathe through their lungs when they are on land. They also seek out water when they want to cool down. If water is not nearby, they sit in the shade. They sit in the sun when they want to warm up. In the winter, many frogs hibernate. Often they burrow or dig a hole in mud at the bottom of ponds. If they can't find a pond, they seek out a damp place, such as a pile of logs, in which to spend the winter. The young frog has to survive until it is two or three years old to become a parent. To live that long, frogs have various survival techniques. A survival technique is a way of staying alive. Their skin is often the color of their natural habitat. This helps them to blend into the background and avoid hungry predators. This is a form of camouflage. Frogs can hop quickly out of reach. They are also excellent swimmers. They can jump into the nearest pond or river to avoid danger. Some frogs have poisonous skin to protect them from predators. All frogs have large, bulging eyes. This helps them to more easily find their own food and avoid becoming dinner for some other creature. When a frog is between two and three years old, it will return to the pond where it was born. At this stage, the frog is now considered an adult. In spring, male frogs croak loudly to let the females know that they are ready to mate. As with chickens, the eggs must be fertilized by a male frog, or else they will not develop into baby frogs. And so the life cycle begins all over again. Each spring, a jelly-like substance appears in ponds and rivers, it is frog spawn, or hundreds of small eggs containing tiny embryos. In time, many will hatch into tadpoles, and a little while later, those tadpoles will turn into frogs that will live for seven years or more. It is amazing that frogs change their appearance so dramatically throughout their life cycle, from egg to tadpole to adult. Next, we will learn about the incredible transformation in another creature's life cycle. Stay tuned!